Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the class. We are doing the chapter Industries in Geography, and uh, under this chapter, we are doing Cotton Textile Industry. As uh, we have started our discussion about uh, this uh, cotton textile industry in the previous class, as uh, we have seen that this is uh, one of the oldest industries in the world, and uh, before 18th century, when there was no industrial revolution the um, cotton industry was completely based on hand uh, hand, hand spin uh, clothes and uh, hand woven clothes were produced but after uh, this industrial revolution technological because of technological advancement new machines came into existence power loom started to be used and this uh, led to the establishment of uh, cotton mills uh, where um, we find that uh, everything was uh, done by machines and uh, we have also uh, discussed that uh, in in uh, in, uh, in uh, before this industrial revolution we can say there was uh, dominant dominance of uh, indian cotton textile in the international market uh, you have read about this in the um, that uh, history also when you were reading the chapter uh, iron smelters weavers and uh, factory owners so uh, you have uh, you, you know what are the importance of uh, indian cotton textile in international market there were so many important uh, um, cotton textile of india like uh, muslin of dhaka then uh, uh, you have this uh, chains of uh, Masuli Patnam, Kalikus of Kalikut. These all were very much famous uh, in the whole world. They were very much known in the whole world for their quality and design. And uh, mm, uh, But the conditions was not similar. Very soon we find that uh, uh, when uh, machines... Uh, uh, were invented and when the cotton textile industry uh, started to be based on machines what happened that uh, large quantity of um, cotton textile were produced uh, not only quantity quality was also good and quantity was also big so what happened that the price of these cotton textile was very low and um, in this uh, situation the hand spun clothes were not able to compete with these uh, these machine made uh, cotton textile so we have done all these and now uh, we will see that uh, what how um, in our country the advanced or we can say the modern mechanized textile mill was established you have read about this also, है ना? जब आपने history में पढ़ा था, तो ये भी आपने पढ़ा है कि पहली जो, जिसको हम कहेंगे mechanized textile mill, जो था, first successful mechanized textile mill was established in Mumbai in 1854, and Mumbai was chosen for this purpose because of the suitable climatic condition the condition the climate of mumbai is uh, um, full of moist you know, because it is on the sea shore so uh, the the moist cli climate is very much uh, important for cotton textile industry uh, and the warm temperature warm climate is also required for uh, this uh, cotton textile so this warm and moist moist climate of Bombay was suitable, more suitable for the establishment of cotton mills. That is why this place was chosen for um, establishment of first cotton mill. Other than this, there was other advantages also like uh, this uh, um, cotton, raw cotton was uh, produced in a very uh, large amount in uh, Maharashtra because of presence of black cotton soil. You have read about, uh, we have discussed about this 
earlier also uh, black curtain soil is very much suitable uh, it is actually it's black soil but it is called a black cotton soil because it is very much suitable for the production of cotton so uh, maharashtra has a uh, plenty of this uh, black soil and this is the reason it produces a uh, good amount and quality of uh, raw cotton that is also one of the reasons for uh, establishing the first uh, cotton mill in uh, this uh, mumbai in bombay at that time it was bombay so abhi ka jo mumbai hai wo actually wo place tha hai na jahan par ki uh, first cotton mill ko establish kiya gaya tha then uh, uh, there was other facilities also like uh, availability of skilled labor was also there the skilled labor were available and this made the place suitable for uh, the cotton mill uh, textile and then one more thing is there that uh, it was a port city and uh, mumbai is a port city so uh, uh, ports are very much important for importing uh, anything so in order to um, run the uh, mill there was need of uh, different types of machinery and this machinery was import imported from uh, other countries and the port was giving this uh, you can say uh, the port was facilitating this import of uh, machinery so these are the reasons why uh, cotton mill was established in mumbai only okay so i am writing down the reasons why first cotton mill was set up in mumbai this is the question these are uh, extra questions mein aapke liye aate jayenge hai na so in mumbai so the first reason is warm and moist climate okay the second reason is uh, availability of a skilled labor then third is availability of raw cotton and then fourth is uh, this uh, it was a port city which facilitated facilitated the import of machinery okay so these are the reasons why mumbai was chosen for this uh, establishment of first cotton mill in 1854 okay and now we will see that uh, so uh, initially we find that uh, uh, this uh, cotton industry flourished only uh, in the states of uh, maharashtra and gujarat because uh, in these uh, states the climate was favorable because uh, for uh, the purpose of cotton textile industry warm and moist climate was required that is why it was uh, this industry was concentrated only in these two states but uh, with the advancement of technology what happened that uh, it uh, now uh, this uh, moist can be created humidity humidity can be created artificially 
and that is the reason we find that uh, this industry has uh, now it has now spread to other parts of the country also like uh, now uh, it's not only uh, in uh, concentrated in maharashtra and gujarat uh, gujarat but uh, uh, coimbatore kanpur then chennai ahmedabad kolkata ludhiana puducherry panipat these are all are uh, important centers of cotton textile industry in india and uh, now we will focus on ahmedabad ahmedabad which is a city in uh, gujarat which is uh, situated on the bank of river sagarmati and uh, uh, here we find that the first mill was established in the year 1859 <coughs> and uh, it uh, became very important center of uh, cotton textile industry it became the place of second largest textile city of india after mumbai and uh, it was also started to be referred as manchester of uh, india manchester is a place in england uh, the cotton of this place was very much famous in india and uh, that is the reason manchester was the main we can say main uh, center of uh, cotton textile industry in britain so like uh, manchester in india it was ahmedabad and uh, we find that uh, in ahmedabad so many favorable locational advantage was there like uh, first of all uh, the climate was favorable moist and warm climate was there then uh, the second is density of population is very high in this place and because of this there was availability of skilled and semi skilled laborers you know? and uh, uh, other than these uh, two important uh, factors there was another factor like uh, uh, raw material raw cotton was um, produced in large amount because of availability of uh, black uh, cotton soil and uh, other than these factors we find that uh, ahmedabad also uh, ensured flat terrain terrain is flat terrain means surface which is very much important for the purpose of uh, setting up of mills you know to terrain ka flat hona was also one of the important reasons for um, establishing uh, this uh, mill this cotton industry mill in uh, ahmedabad and then we find that uh, this uh, ahmedabad is also uh, it has a very good network of uh, railway line and uh, road, road transport is also in a very good condition so th these are the factors helping factors we can say uh, which 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 are responsible for uh, this uh, uh, emergence of ahmedabad as uh, one of the most important centers of cotton textile industry okay so we have uh, we may have this uh, uh, question the question is uh, why did ahmedabad become one of the one of the Why did Ahmedabad become one of the most important city of textile industry? So when you answer this question, what you will see that uh, three points are similar. 
the the points which you gave in uh, for mumbai it will remain same like the first is uh, that uh, um, uh, availability of raw cotton then availability of uh, skilled and unskilled uh, semi skilled labors skilled and semi skilled labors and uh, third one is about uh, this um, uh, warm and moist climate you know? so these three will remain same, same the fourth point which you have written in uh, mumbai that was uh, that uh, it's a port city ahmedabad is not a port city actually we can say that uh, ahmedabad is uh, uh, situated near the mumbai port which uh, facilitates the import of uh, mass indian and export of uh, this uh, textile you know? so fourth point of the change of the first ke three points will be the same okay so what is the fourth point first second third i'm not going to repeat it you know? it will be the same and fourth point is uh, mumbai port is uh, situated nearby you know? which facilitates import import of machinery and export of this uh, textile okay अब इसके बाद का पॉइंट हमें लिखना है दिस इज योर फोर्थ पॉइंट एंड नाउ वी विल सी द फिफ्थ पॉइंट व्हाट इज द फेवरेबल कंडीशन इन अहमदाबाद है ना फिफ्थ पॉइंट इज फ्लैट टेरेन Sixth point is network of road and rail transport. Network of road and rail transport. Okay. this is about uh, amdavad but now that we find that uh, <coughs> presently uh, we see that uh, amdavad uh, textile mill mills uh, are facing some problems like the most important problem which is faced by amdavad textile mills is uh, that the the machines are very old and uh, these machines need upgradation that is uh, lacking that is not there upgradation of machines upgraded machines are not there which is causing uh, this decline of uh, amdavad as uh, one of the most important cities of uh, textile uh, industry and uh, other than this we find that uh, uh, main uh, reason is only technological uh, backwardness is there and this is the reason we find that uh, new textile centers have emerged in the country instead of this uh, amdavad so we have done this and now in uh, next class we will do about this osaka osaka it's a city in japan and uh, <coughs> it is an important textile center of japan and it is also known as manchester of japan as we have seen amdavad is known as manchester of india osaka is manchester of japan and uh, in osaka also we find that some geographical 
एडवांटेज असाका हैज बिकॉज ऑफ विच इट इज इट 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 हैज बीन डेवलप्ड एज इंपॉर्टेंट टेक्सटाइल सेंटर सो वी विल सी वॉट आर द जियोग्राफिकल फैक्टर्स विच आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर डेवलपमेंट ऑफ टेक्सटाइल इंडस्ट्री इन ओसाका ओके वी विल डू दिस इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास